Happy birthday to me. It's birthday 59. And you know what that means? 100 reps are going down on my barbell challenge today. Today is the final. It's happening, bros. All right, guys, if you're looking up over here, you're seeing the, uh, or is it over here? You're seeing my barbell challenge going on my birthday, 59 years old today. I got four minutes to do this, but I'm probably going to go over four minutes. 15 questions, Craig. You gave us 15 questions, bro. That's a lot for four minutes. So this is the best subscriber tag that uh, Craig tagged everybody. He tagged like everybody. He said everybody do it. So I'm finally doing it. And here's my answers to those 15 questions. Uh, question number one, do you subscribe right away when you find a new channel or a video do, or do you try out a few first? I, when I see a new person and I see them more than once. If I see them a couple of times, I'm like, okay, I'm going to watch to see if they're going to be around. If they stick around and I see their name for maybe like two or three weeks on, on some videos, I go check them out. If I see that they've got content, I uh, subscribe to their channel. I do subscribe first. I subscribe before watching a video and then I'll watch a video or two and you know I, I don't give up on people that quick. If I don't like what I see or if it's you know not great quality people can always change and get better so I don't take that as you know uh, the end, end all or be all how their video looks today. Everybody can get better. And if they're trying to get better and they're trying to participate in the YouTube fitness family, I'm going to give them a chance. That's, that's the way I work. Number two, does the make sure you subscribe mantra ever sway you to subscribe? Well, I, dude, Craig, I've been subscribed for three years now. I think it's close to about three years. It's over two years. I know that for sure. So, uh, but I, I have recommended you to many other people, and I think they've subscribed. So hopefully that gets me a couple of brownie points. Number three, how many channels do you have the notifications bell turned on for? Well, if I see that they're regular contributors, and if, they're, um, if they upload more than, you know, say like once a year, I subscribe to their to their channel, and if I see that in comments, which I see them on other channels' uh, comment sections, and I see that they they you know, not that they ask you to go subscribe to their channel, but that they say they're doing videos or that they got videos coming, I go okay. I make sure that I get on their channel and I get the notifications um, uh, bell. I, I do that. When I subscribe to somebody, <coughs> I automatically click the bell. It's second nature now that when I subscribe, I always subscribe, I always do the notification bell. So it, you know, it, 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 it just happens naturally. Number, let's see, number four. Do you watch every video from your subscribers of uh, uh, the subscription feed or only your favorites? Well, how do I know if it's a favorite if I haven't watched it yet? So I got to watch it. Um, fortunately for me, a lot of my subscriptions, a lot of the people don't um, upload that often. Um, there's a, you know, there's the 
fitness family, but I subscribe to a lot of other channels too, a lot of music channels, um, a lot of uh, photography channels, and uh, and a lot of, of course, political channels on my other channel. Um, so yeah, I do subscribe, I do watch, and I do have a lot of subscriptions. There are certain people I know that um, I've seen their videos, and I know that it's going to be a quality video, so I'll watch. And I have relaxed time, and my uh, eating time is always um, time that I sit down and watch YouTube videos. My breakfast, my lunch, my dinner, that's when I watch. Uh, sometimes when I'm doing cardio on the stationary bike, because I have a desk feature on the stationary bike, so I can put the laptop up right there in front of me, and I'll, while I'm doing my cardio, I'll watch uh, some of you guys. While, I, while I'm exercising, I'm watching you guys exercise. Uh, number five, how many channels do you, you, do you never miss an upload for, no, uh, no matter how busy you are? Well, I don't want to say names, except for Craig. I mean, I never miss one of Craig's videos. And there are certain people, like I've gotten behind because of a lot of work and stuff, and they upload basically, you know, almost every day. Uh, Ron T, I'm behind on his videos, but I've told him I'm loyal. I'm going to watch all your videos, Ron, and I am. I'm going to watch them all. He is a very good guy, and I enjoy him. He's got music. He's 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 not a, just about lifting the weights. He's a really interesting guy. I would love to see if he would agree to come on my political channel and we could have a little discussion. Um, I think he's a very interesting guy. And um, Ron T, if you're looking at this video, yes sir, I am going to watch all your videos. I have about 30 of them to watch. But I had at one time, I was up to like 62, I think. So I whittled it down. And I will watch them, bro. I will watch them, and I will comment. You know I comment on every one of your videos. Um, number six, what kind of commenter are you? I, when I watch a video, I watch a video, and I try to put in my comments stuff that the, that the uploader is going to know. I watch their video, and that I'm interested in them. And that I'm interested in their content and that I try to take out little nuances and put those in my comments so that they know, they truly know in their heart, Kevin watched this whole video because I think that's very important because I wish people would do that for mine. My content is not super good or super great, but it's not horrible either, I guess. I hope not. I hope I keep some people entertained a little bit. But, uh, okay, now i got to turn the page. I wrote all these down. I'm an old man. i got to write them down. Number seven, do you skip, uh, do you skip CDs or watch? Oh, skip ads. you got to write better, Kevin. I don't write anymore. Who writes anymore? Who even writes in print? I can hardly write in cursive anymore, except for my name. Uh, do you skip ads or watch? Sorry guys, but uh, I have I have AdBlock Plus, so I don't I don't watch anybody's, even you guys that are monetized. Sorry, but I hate ads. So, and I'm not monetized. So what the hell? No, that's not my attitude. I know certain people. I'll turn the the, the you know ad blocker extensions off. My friend Jerry Opperman, I know because I know he makes a bit of money and he counts on that money for for his channel to upgrade and stuff like that. But a lot of people, you know, they're not monetized anymore, so it's I don't I don't run into people with a lot of ads. Political channels, yeah, those and I don't mind doing that <laughs> because those people are they have hundreds of thousands of views. They're making oodles and boodles of money. I ain't making it. Number eight, this is going so long. Eight, do you speed up videos? Mm, I've been a, I've been guilty of that. Guilty. I do it sometimes. Um, sometimes I get, you know, I've got like, oh, this is the third video in a row. Somebody's fucking deadlifting. I 
it's going up to either 1.25 or 1.5 because their video is like you know really long <laughs> like this video is going really long but you know what you know what I mean I just I'm like all right you're deadlifting I, I know that <laughs> you know it's like <laughs> I know it's a fitness channel I should be more patient but I've been doing this for six years and I'm getting kind of burned out of watching guys deadlift and bench press I do like when you all talk I enjoy that I enjoy the banter back and forth and I enjoy getting to know you and getting to know what you have to say about stuff but watching guys in you know skinny tank tops you know the the tank tops that show all the muscles. I'm like, you know, whatever. Uh-oh, we got a phone call. All right, got to cut it off right here for a minute. A few moments later. Okay, guys, that was a birthday call. Um, I don't know if I'll get another one while I'm filming, but uh, that was my friend Michael Colts and his wife, Melissa, giving me a ring. I'm going to I'm going to link them so that they see that they, <laughs> I really was making this video as I told them on the phone call, but they gave me a, a happy birthday phone call. And um, I love you, Mike. I love you, Melissa. Y'all come to Florida in the winter from cold Minnesota. Get y'all's butts down here so I could see y'all. All right. I want to meet that wife of yours. Ain't met her yet. And I need to meet her. All right, back to the questions. Uh, number nine, I think we're up to. Do you click affiliates link or use um, affiliate codes? Oh, hell yes. I'm a cheap ass. I'm a cheap old mf -er ass. And anything to save money, anything. Okay, number 10. What's your preference when it comes to video length? Your sweet spot. Well, I've gone over my sweet spot with making this one, but there are 15 damn questions. So anyways, um, I like, if, if it's more than about 12 or 13 minutes, I'm like, okay, let's, let's click on the settings and do the old speed up. Um, you know, if you do it to one and a quarter or one and a half, you can still hear what they're saying and still understand what they're saying. But um, yeah, I do that sometimes. I'm, I'm Again, I'll say I'm guilty. I do that. Uh, number 10, number 11, rather. Do you thumbs up most videos? Hell yeah. That's part of being a, a, a YouTube family member is giving support to a view is not enough. Giving a like to the, your to your family members' videos is an absolute must. Don't have to ask me to do it. I do it. It's and it's done with love. All right. Uh, da, 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 number twelve. Do you ever thumbs down a video? Yeah, sometimes. I I download them if they're giving me shit information, like uh, you know cider. Uh, apple cider vinegar. I found out from James Link today. He agrees uh, on this. Uh, Jeff Napard, I think, had a big video a while back on, uh, you know, does apple cider vinegar cause weight loss? All these people saying it causes weight loss. No, it's, there's no scientific evidence for it. So, yeah, when somebody's got shit like that, apple cider vinegar is good for you. It can help your stomach, and it, I take it for that, but I don't expect it to give me any weight loss. So when people are giving shit information, and I know it's shit information, I'll give them a damn thumbs down, bro. If I know they're lying to me about shit, I give it a thumbs down. You're not, you're absolute, absolutely right, I do. Um, number 13. Do you share other YouTubers' videos on your social read on your social? You know what? I didn't write all 15 down. I'm gonna have to go cut this one off and do that. Do you share other YouTubers' videos on your social media? Maybe this is the last one. I thought it was 15. Maybe it's only 13. Yes, I do. I share all the time. I share it on my Facebook. I copy and paste the links. Um, I think that's important that you link other people's videos in your descriptions and stuff like that. And Craig, I'm going to teach you how to do that. It's not that hard, bro. 
you can do it. Craig, you can do it. I'll show you how to do it. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure that I call you and, and I'm going to make sure you know how to do that. Um, but yes, I do. All right, guys, I think this is the last. I thought it was 15 questions, but I got 13. So I missed, if, if I missed the last two questions, I'm sorry. But this is my video. Y'all take care. Uh, love y'all. Thank you for the loyal people who have stayed watching my uh, barbell challenge. I have got a few ideas about things I want to do. Um, I need to start losing weight again. And so I'm going to be doing some weight loss videos. I'm also going to be doing more exercise stuff. I'm getting a little less self-conscious about showing my body again. I've gotten self-conscious about doing that and doing any exercise on video because I look fat and I know I look fat and I look horrible because I've let myself get fat. I've been depressed. I've eaten. I eat when I get depressed and so I've, I've kind of let myself go and I can't I'm 59 now. It's, I mean, it's critical. It's critical that I get back to the weight I was about a year and a half ago when I, when I lost all that weight. I know that right now I'm probably about 235 pounds, 235 to 240. And I was all the way down to 190. I've, I've gained about 50 pounds. So um, I've got, so I, want, I want to do some food halls. I want to, I'm living on a very li limited budget right now and I'm still eating good. I'm, I got fat, so I am eating good, but I'm, I know how to, I know how to get myself back on track with my fitness pal, which I've not been doing as, as I should be. I've not been tracking my macros. I need to set my macros. I need to do all those things. And I'm going to be starting to make some videos on that. And I'm sure many of y'all have clicked off already, or you have, or you sped me up. I know. I know what y'all have been doing. All right, guys. Thank you for giving me a, a birthday look on my video. Take it easy, teasy, and peasy. God bless y'all. Have a super week. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.